Hey guys, this is part two of my converting a warehouse light into a grow light. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to disconnect the ballast. And this one weighs about 35, 40 pounds from the light portion of the grow light. And it'll end up looking like this down here. So you can see the ballast is gone and replaced by this electrical box. And this whole unit here only weighs about two pounds now and can easily be moved up or down. You can see I have it over a hook here and down this way. And down here you can see I have it so you can disconnect the light portion from the ballast. The ballast is sitting there on the floor and uh, that makes it so you can easily move things around or store things. And there you can see my tomatoes happily grazing in the sunshine <laughs> and uh, here is the electrical cord that I showed you how to install in my previous video and that just goes right up into the light socket so simple as that and here I'll show you what parts you need okay guys here's the uh, list of materials you'll need this is a uh, 16 gauge 20 foot extension cord uh, parts are going to vary depending on what kind of ballast you have but my ballast is pretty common, so you can make adjustments as needed. <clears throat> Here I use some wire nuts, and this is a octagon electrical box, which I found that had uh, holes pre-drilled in it, so that came in handy later, and I'll show you why. Here is the electrical box cover. Make sure it has a knockout in the middle. And I use some cable clamps, and here's what they look like. And you'll need two of those. And I have to do two lights, so I bought plenty. And, uh, yeah, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, first thing you want to do is remove the reflector section so the ballast is easier to work with. And the reflector on this unit is just held on by two screws, one on each side. You can see it there. And, uh, yeah, just go... Remove the screw on each side. And the reflector will come right off. Okay, now there are four bolts that we need to remove, and you can see them at each corner where the uh, light socket connects to the ballast. And there's a bolt there, and there's a bolt at the bottom, and just on all four sides of the ballast. And uh, they come out really easy. Let's use a ratchet. Even though these bolts look rusty, they come out pretty easy. They're not in there too tight. So yeah, just take all four out and uh, I'll show you what to do next. Alright, as you can see the bolt is loosened on all four corners and everything should just slide right apart and it'll be exposing two wires that go to the light socket, a black wire and a white wire. And we're just going to cut those and insert our extension so that we can hang this thing far away from the ballast. Okay, I cut the wire and I already stripped this. It's a 16 gauge wire and our extension cord that we got is also 16 gauge so that works out good. And just strip it off like that. Do the same here. And I'll show you what's next. Okay, once your wires are stripped, you're going to want to disconnect the light socket from this piece. And here I already loosened the screw. There's another screw. And uh, these hold the uh, light socket in place. And it comes right off. Okay, next we want to take the reflector holder off this piece here. And you do that by loosening these two nuts, and I already loosened them, and get it right off there, and it detaches. Alright, the next step is we're going to knock out the knockout out of the uh, electrical box, and when you're shopping for an electrical box, get an octagon one with the pre-drilled holes, because these holes just so happen to match up the holes on the uh, 
reflector holder so I don't have to drill anything. Otherwise you're going to have to customize it a bit and drill your own holes. And so I'm just going to knock that out. And uh, I'll show you what's next. Okay, next we're going to piece this together, and what we're going to do is piece these three pieces like this, line up the holes, feed your uh, socket wires to the hole, through the reflector holder and through the hole that you knocked out of the uh, electrical box, line everything up, and then put the screws back together from the inside of the electrical box, and that'll hold all this together. Okay, as you can see here, I have my two screws back in holding the uh, light socket on. And it's all one piece, nice and solid. Things just happen to work out perfect sometimes. Okay, next we need to prepare our extension cord. So what we're going to do is cut a foot from the end of the female end, right here. And we're going to strip out the uh, black and white wires. You can see that on both sides. Don't need the green wire. Okay, here you see the wires are stripped. And we don't need the green wire, so you can go ahead and cut that sucker off. Because it's not needed for what we're going to be doing here. Alright, take your electrical box cover plate and punch out the knockout. And that'll lead us to the next step. Okay, next we're going to put the wire clamp through the knockout hole of the uh, cover plate. And then the other side. Screw that on and tighten it. And it should look like this. Okay, next step is you take your extension cord, take the male end, which is the longer end that we cut, and feed it through the wire clamp. And then, take the white wire, connect it with the white wire, twist it together in a clockwise direction, and take your wire nut and screw it on for protection, and do the same with the black wire, clockwise direction, take the wire nut, Tighten it and I'll show you what's next. Alright, what to do next is take your extension cord, shove it through the wire clamp a bit, and then tighten down the wire clamp on the extension cord and it'll hold it in place good and tight. Okay, at this point we're going to put all the wires inside the electrical box, put the cover on, and then tighten the screws on the electrical box. And I'll show you what's next. Okay, the next step is to take the portion we just put together and reconnect it to the reflector. Retighten the screws on both sides. And it'll complete this portion of the uh, modification. Okay, we now have our lamp portion of the project put together. And you can see the whole thing there. And how I did it. And now I'm going to show you the ballast portion. 
Alright, now for the ballast portion of the video. Uh, you need to take a wire clamp like this and disassemble it. <clears throat> and what we're going to do is take this piece here and put it through the slot like that. And then put it back together like this. Put the screws back in, just loosely for now. And I'll show you what to do next. Okay, at this point, you're going to want to take your female end of the extension cord that we cut, which is the shorter portion, and feed it through the wire clamp. Pull it through, and then you'll want to tighten these two screws, and it'll be nice and snug. And uh, I'll show you what's next. Okay, you can see I've attached the wires with the wire nuts, white and black, and shove the wires inside this casing. And we're going to put the bolts back together and reattach this cover to the ballast. Okay, I bolted the ballast all back together putting all four bolts back in place and all that needs to be done now is to connect the ballast to the light socket. Alright, I connected the lamp cord to the ballast cord. Okay, everything is hooked up and as you can see it's plugged in and I wanted to show you how easy it is to raise and lower using one hand here. You can raise it and lower it to whatever level you need. and. Uh, yeah, it works great, and um, if you need to make modifications, I'm sure you guys can figure out using what brains you have left. And uh, I might go further on this project, I'm not sure yet, because I have some new ideas. So stay tuned.